Hey, what's going on guys? The Reaper here bringing you guys another how-to tutorial on the VideoPad video editor. I know this has gotten, a, or at least the first video has gotten a lot of views on my channel. Uh, and I know some of you guys have asked me to try to figure out some things about it. And uh, I previously told you that I, it was probably just a recording setting. And I don't know if you were able to figure that out or not. But I think I did figure out how to get rid of the uh, uh, black bars as they were so called in the top and the bottom of the video and uh, basically I think we were talking about uh, if you're recording in a uh, like a widescreen aspect ratio you're gonna have the uh, black lines at the top of the top and the bottom of the video and so I think I figured out where to go for the settings on there so I'm gonna show you that and I'm gonna also show you uh, basically how to do some uh, transitions in here say if you're a Call of Duty player and you want to put together like a sniping montage or you want to put together like a best plays like quad feeds uh, top plays anything like that uh, to basically uh, transition into from one clip to another you know instead of just having a real hard just cut off from one video to the next uh, make things go a little bit smoother and stuff like that so uh, Gonna go ahead and start on that. Gonna drag and drop your video file down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. That way we got some room to work. And I'm gonna go right here to 20 seconds. And I'm gonna split this clip into two, which is the little scissor option right there. It splits the clip wherever this cursor is right here. And I'm gonna actually just delete this out. And that way it's set up for the video uh, that I'm going to show you after I put these transitions in. So you guys don't have to watch me export it and all that stuff. So we're just going to go to 10 seconds right here. And again, split clip into two sections. I'm going to go right here to set your transition. We're going to go to shatter. And let's set that up for two seconds. Got that. And I'm going to put a transition here on the end. Uh, so that could be just like a little outro fade. Uh, there's a fade right there or whatever you want it to be. I personally kind of like dissolve. And we're going to set that up for three seconds. Right there. And so basically once you split this, it's going to be a real smooth transition. Uh, I should probably do this with like two different video clips so you guys can see how it is. But... I think you guys will get the gist of it. So wherever you place this cursor and click the split into two clips, that's where your transition is going to be. It's going to add it to the end of it there. Uh, so to show you guys what this actually will look like, um, I would go to the preview, but whenever you preview with the video pad, as you guys know if you're already using this program, the preview is pretty shoddy on it. And uh, I don't actually think it shows the effects in there at all. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it will not show. So we're going to go into my D drive right here, and it's one called Transition. So this is how this is going to look after you export it out. and there's the dissolve so you'll end up having something that looks like that so you just go in and put your clips in and if you've got a bunch of smaller clips um, instead of dragging each one of these onto a different video track you could put them on the same one or if you do do it just on separate video tracks just making sure that you're clicking each video tracks transition tab right there so the other setting to get rid of this widescreen formatting that uh, is eluding you. Uh, let's see. I gotta remember where to go on here. Let's go to. I do believe. Let's see. Is it clips? No. Uh, you can stay at home on there. Go to edit. Uh, man, I'm having trouble remembering where I found this at. Give me a second here. Oh, there it is. Duh. You go to options. Go to options right here. And 
where is it export this is how your final video is going to show up um, if your fill screen is the one that's selected and you're still getting the black bars go to fit to screen and select that and make sure you only do this on the videos that have the widescreen on the top and bottom or else your videos might end up kind of funky looking like I said I haven't got to try this one out uh, it's just an idea and I think this will probably fix the problems here uh, let me know if it does uh, hopefully this is helpful for you and that's all I've got for today really for you guys um, uh, I know like I said my other videos got a lot of views so if you guys have uh, any other questions if you want to see me show you how to do something or try to figure something out for you guys just let me know and I'll try to make the video as soon as possible so if you guys like this and you found it helpful comment down below with uh, your feedback any questions you have click the like button and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to me it always helps me out and as always this has been the Reaper thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time